Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm completing a challenge for Paper Possibility Crazy Crafters Facebook group and the challenge has been set to create a Rita Donnelly flip. Now I must admit I had to go and look that up but there were plenty of them done on YouTube and I'm going to try one today and I'm going to put it into one of my journals. So the idea is that you fold over a piece of paper now I'll just get a shorter piece and you fold it so that you've got it into a triangle shape so let's do this here so I'm folding it with the plain paper to the inside because it's about writing on the inside so that would then go, if this was a journal page, that would fit into the journal page like that. Become a pocket and then flip up still. But you can also do a double one. So I wonder if I've got enough to do a double one on this. I should have enough to do a double one. So I'm actually going to fold down the other side as well. I'm going to leave a tiny little gap because it's got a wrap around the page the book page so i'm going to leave a little gap there now i've done a double one and then you fold that like this so it's in half again on matching sides and now i'll grab my journal i'm just putting it into this travel journal that i've been doing and i need to find a page to put it on um, I'm going to put this one. Can't be a page that's already got a pocket on it because that would kind of defeat the purpose, wouldn't it? Maybe I can put it on here. Or on here. So then, like I said, I've never done this before, so you're learning along with me if you haven't seen it before. And then this goes on here. So you get a pocket on this side. You get a flip up. You turn it over, you get a pocket on this side and a flip up. Now I cut my paper wrong because I could have, should have cut my heart so my heart would flip up like that, but I didn't. So too late now, we'll just have to motor on. And I will just ink this edge before I do anything about putting it into the book. And it's pretty simple. So that's kind of like the basic, but I'm going to decorate it up also. So, and decorate the... The page area around it so I'll start with sticking it down that's a bit like paying your head and rubbing your tummy to work out where you've got to stick it in fact I'm going to put a pencil line because I'm notorious for sticking things in the wrong place and having to stick them take them up and stick them down again so basically I need along here and along here and along here and along here yep I think that's it all right the glue on now that I've worked out where to put it. We've had a couple of days of rain here and it's really nice and bright today. I was going to do some videos yesterday but I really couldn't because you couldn't have seen. It would be too difficult to actually see what I was doing and I don't like to use the light because it creates a shadow. So I thought that I would leave it and hopefully today would be nice and bright and it is. I'll put the details of the challenge below. It's just in the Facebook group that Nat Williams runs. And it's set by, um, I think it's set by Janet. I'll have to go and, I'll just go and check that. So now, before I stick this together by accident, I'll put it over the page and stick it on like this. Okay, and now that is a Rita Donnelly flip. You can flip it up to write on it, and you can turn it over. Let's move that out of the way so you can see. You can turn it over and flip it up. And now I need to put something in there. I'm probably not going to decorate this one too much because the papers are really pretty, but I'm going to do a couple more while I'm here. So, for example, you can put, like, I've, this is a pre-made tag with some space for journaling on the back. That's one of my out of my ephemera box and then I also have somewhere 
just like a plain piece of manila card that I've a little off cut here. And now let's just put some ink around the edges on both sides. I've got some paper clips. These are the little teeny tiny Tim Holtz ones. If I can get the lid off. And I've just gone and checked on that Facebook group that I'm part of with Nat. And it's Janet Dawkins, Crafty Dork. So I'll also put the link to her YouTube channel below. As well as Nat's and the Facebook group. And it's her mystery challenge for this month, which is July. So a little paper clip and just put it on here. Because I think that that will keep all of those together. I'm not sure if you meant to do that, but that's what I'm doing to hold my little things down. So that's one. And now I'm going to make a couple more because that was quite easy and really put a nice embellishment onto the page. And this one here, I think I'm just going to do a normal one without doing the double. I'll find a page where I don't need a double or where a double wouldn't suit and push that down and then I will just cut this out and that's done it's pretty easy isn't it but I do want to embellish this some more so it's really good if you've got papers that've got pattern on one side and you know a plainer side so you've got some writing surface in there for journaling but this is probably a little bit too pretty for my liking Although I have made a journal in it and I'm in love with the journal that I made. So there you go. Maybe I kind of hover between grunge and pretty, I think. I do like the, the dark side, I must say. But the beautiful, you know, sort of French country look with all the pretties and the florals and the laces is also a favourite. Especially with my um, decorating style, I tend to go more with that. so that's that and now I'm going to grab a piece of Oops. get this box open and grab a piece of tissue paper and I thought you know just to tone down the, the pretty I can put a piece of tissue over this start just by ripping it off This is also a super cheap supply because you can pick these up for like a box, um, a packet of pattern, pattern, an old pattern in an op shop for about 50 cents. If you're paying more than that, I think you're being ripped off personally. I have seen them for like five dollars in op shops. That's here in Australia, of course. I don't know how they sell overseas, but I think it's just ridiculous. And that's not something I actually looked for when I was market shopping in Europe last year. I never thought about getting some patterns in different languages, but too late now. I won't be going back there for a little while. Now I glued that on, but I'm still going to add some matte medium. We should have glued it on with matte medium because what the matte medium does is it kind of makes the tissue fade into the background because now I've put way too much on there. Let me just, oh, now I've got a dilemma, haven't I? What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab another piece. Maybe I'll get this piece and put some more tissue down with that excess matte medium. Well, I've got it out instead of wasting it. the bottle was almost finished I didn't realize I'd grab so much out but I did so I'm just going to stick that on there and put it to one side okay well that was more um, drama than I needed really <laughs> I should have been a bit more organized put it on correctly in the first place okay so there you go that's toned that um, pretty down a lot now I have to find somewhere in my journal to put that but I also think that I need something else on here actually I'll put something else on the page in the journal instead let's find a page where I need 
something like that. Mm, that's a bit too pretty. Oh, what about here? This will go well here. And that's just a little half page. Yep, okay. And then I'm going to do stick a couple more things onto the page inside the pocket as well as maybe put a little tag in, I'm not sure yet. So that's my little writing spot there. Oh, I don't think I inked those edges, did I? No, oh well. Okay, forgot to ink the edges, so I'll have to... Oh, this one's been a bit of a disaster, hasn't it? Never mind. Hopefully out of a disaster, good things will happen. <laughs> All right, that'll have to do. Yeah, there's a little bit of grunge on there. And I've still got my pocket in here. So what I've got is I've got some little tickets here. That's a label. These are little Tim Holtz ephemera. Probably getting sick of me saying that but really I don't use that much more than Tim Holtz ephemera because I just love it you know it suits my style and it's beautiful so why not use it now just get a little and I thought if I put some on the page like that not that one maybe this one actually stuck onto the page so you could still put something behind it and I've also pulled out one of my paper dolls to put on this little pocket just let me try and clip this back it's a bit hard because this is quite a chunky journal my travel journal if I just clip some of it back it might be easier to work with okay As I said, I'm not sure if I'm putting something in this actual pocket or just sticking things on. And once again, I forgot to ink the edges. So now I'm going to have glue all over my fingers again. Ah! Okay, that's done. <laughs> and I'll just randomly place these tickets in here. I will ink these edges before I start this time. And I like this little paper doll I've chosen because this is a travel journal and he looks to me like, you know, he's travelling. He's got his little diary in his hand there, his travel diary and um, travel notebook, I guess now we would say. And he's got his little, you know, hat on his head and he's off, he's off travelling. So I don't want to poke him in too far. I'll finish putting these tickets in first. Now, if I wanted to, I could still put something else on top of that I can put another you know journaling space in there the pocket is still there it's just I'm not choosing to do that at this point I'm choosing just to use the pocket to hide you know those feet and then you can turn it up so there's another one it's all good so I've got this piece here which is 12 by 12 and I was folding the fold to get the pocket that we've been talking about and what I realized is that if I kept folding, it would just still work. So I'll just grab the book because if I put it here like this and I put it so it, the edge folding edges at the bottom of the page, I can still fold this up and have a pocket. But then when I pull it up, I've got all of that as writing space. So I've got this little girl on here. She just fits on there and I can still fold her over. There's nothing on the crease. But I wanted to give her some maybe flowers and butterflies, but only little tiny ones I need. Because some of them are too big. I was going to do butterflies, but maybe I'll just do a bunch of these florals at her feet. Let's see how this works. Okay. Start by putting her down there. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, I bent her head now. Sorry. Bent the poor little girl on her head. <laughs> Never miss a chance to use my paper dolls. I have that many of them that I really need to use. I have like hundreds and hundreds of them. Because they come in quite a big pack. And then, of course, you know, one pack's just not enough. Oh, it's knocking things around there. Every time I go to the shop, I seem to buy more of them. And I really do not need them at all. And I sort of thought I wanted more than that. Let's see. That's a bit too big. Yes, there's a little mushroom here. Let's put this little mushy down. And then getting blue everywhere. And I've got a little label as well. I think that's probably enough on that side. So now we've got the other side to do. So I just have to think about where that's going to be. So that's going to open up like that. It'll be stuck in there. I'm just trying to work out what's got to get stuck in. I oh know it's the same, it's still these two sides here, just on the straight sides, not not on the is that the hypotenuse? I can't remember my math, I think it's the hypotenuse. So that'll be there like that, and then that'll go up. So I want to decorate this one here. Now I've got that fellow, but he's too big. So what else can I put on here? So I've found a clip, one of the Tim Holtz clips that I'm going to hold all that together with in the book. And I've also decided that I haven't used my photo booth things for a long time. So I thought that I could put one of the photo booth things on here. Chop it out and see how we go. I'm actually going to chop her out from the background, I think. Just to make her not so big otherwise she's not going to fit on the actual corner that she needs to fit on so these are the small talk quotes and I think I'll use one of these probably a black one I think yeah, I think I'll use this one it says love yourself first So now I've stuck that on, so I have a pocket here, it's a bit too big to go in there though, maybe I'll just use this alteration tag, which is little, now I've ripped the bottom of it off, so that'll go in there, put that one in there. It will fold up, plenty of space for writing. And then on this side, I've got this that folds up like this. So again, plenty of space for writing. And then there's my little clip, which holds all of this together, like that. But in here, I also wanted to put something else on this page. I've got these Tim Holtz butterflies here which I wanted to put on the page. Find some now. It might be a bit too big, that one. Oh, here's a little one. These are the clear ones. He did them in a clear, just plain clear, and then not long after he produced them in like this with colour on them. And they were called the same thing. And there was sort of, you know, I don't know whether there was any mention of the fact that he kind of changed horses halfway through or not I'm not sure I didn't watch it if there was very pale but they I guess you could colour these ones with some alcohol ink actually I've got some alcohol ink only a little bit so maybe I'll colour them before I put them on it's upside down because I kind of want to have this explosion of butterflies coming out of the the pocket
And because these are acetate, I'm only going to put a little drop of glue in the centre where the body of the butterfly is. And I think that will be enough to hold it in place. Otherwise, they'll just look like they've got glue everywhere. I've now done some Rita Donnelly flips. I didn't know I needed them, but now of course I love them. <laughs> All right, this is Deborah. Thanks for joining me and thanks to Janet at Crafty Dorks for setting the challenge on Paper Possibilities Crazy Crafters Facebook group. All of the links are below in the description and I will see you next time. Cheers.